Hello everyone. In today's session, I will be discussing about lathe machine operations. So let's start. So the most common operation that is performed onto the lathe machine is turning operation. So here you can see in image the setup for turning operation. Here workpiece is this one that is hold in three jaw chuck and this workpiece is rotated by the spindle which you, you can see over here this workpiece on the other end is supported by dead center and this is the turning tool which is fed against this rotating workpiece so turning it is a process of removing the material from cylindrical surface of workpiece to reduce its dia here you can see the diameter of the workpiece is reduced by feeding the turning tool against the rotating workpiece. So here you can see the motion of workpiece is parallel to the workpiece axis. So this is the turning operation which is used to reduce the diameter of the workpiece. So next is the eccentric turning. So it is again a type of turning operation. So in eccentric turning what happen? It process of removing the material from cylindrical surface of workpiece to reduce its diameter about an axis offset from axis of workpiece. So here you can see the axis of workpiece and this is the axis of spindle. So here the axis of workpiece is offset from the axis of spindle. So this operation is called as eccentric turning because workpiece is eccentric and this workpiece is hold in a four jaw chuck. Next operation is the taper turning. So this is again a type of turning operation. It, so in taper turning it is a machining operation that is gradual reduction in diameter from one part of cylindrical workpiece to another part. So here you can see workpiece diameter is gradually reduced from one part to another part. So that is the taper turning. So here cutting tool is moving at some angle to axis of workpiece. So this is called as taper turning operation. Next operation is the facing operation. So it is a process of removing the material from end face of workpiece to reduce its length. So in this case tool is fed perpendicular to axis of workpiece and a material is removed from end face of the workpiece to produce a flat surface. So facing is an operation to produce a flat surface for that facing tool is used. So facing operation is performed to reduce the length of the workpiece. Next operation is the chamfering operation. Now here you can see chamfering is making a small cut which is usually at 45 degree angle. So we are making a small cut to workpiece which is usually at 45 degree angle to remove the corner. Okay. So to remove the corner of the workpiece we are performing this chamfering operation to remove the sharp corner in a workpiece. So sharp corners can injure the person who is handling that workpiece. So to avoid that injury to person we are bevelling the end of the workpiece that is nothing but the chamfering operation. So this chamfering operation is performed by chamfering tool. Next operation is the grooving operation. So in grooving operation you can see in an image that it is providing a narrow groove 
on cylindrical surface of workpiece. We can provide a groove on a workpiece by using this grooving operation. Next is the parting operation. So in parting operation, if the workpiece length is too much and we want to cut that into two part, then parting operation can be performed on lathe machine. So parting is a process of cutting a workpiece into two part. So long workpieces can be cut into two part by using parting operation. Next operation is the knurling operation. Now here you can see an image or setup for knurling operation. So for knurling operation this knurling tool is used. So it is a process to emboss diamond shape pattern on workpiece surface. So to emboss the diamond shape pattern on workpiece surface that is a process of knurling. For that special knurling tool is used. So why there is a need of knurling? Because to provide a better grip on workpiece surface we are using this knurling operation. Also it gives a decorative look to workpiece. Next operation is the uh, drilling operation. So a drilling is an operation of producing cylindrical hole in a workpiece. So here you can see an image for drilling operation. Here a workpiece is hold in a chuck and a drill which is hold in a tailstock. So we will move this hand wheel against this rotating workpiece. So you can see a drill is feed against this rotating workpiece by rotating the hand wheel of this tailstock. Once the drill hole is created, this hand wheel is rotated in opposite direction to remove from the workpiece. Okay. So this is the drilling operation. So the last operation is the thread cutting operation that is also performed onto the lathe machine. So a special thread cutting tool is used for performing this operation. It is a process of producing a helical groove which you can see onto the workpiece surface. So that is a thread cutting operation. So in this operation again the tool is moving parallel to axis of workpiece. So here for one rotation of workpiece the distance traveled by the tool equal to the pitch of the thread that is created. Also the linear motion between this tool and the rotary motion of the workpiece is achieved by engaging this lead screw with carriage. So lead screw is engaged with carriage to perform the thread cutting operation on lathe machine. So this is all about the lathe machine operations. Hope you like this video. Thank you for watching.